Our last piece of news is about Ric Flair. And it's about Ric Flair walking out on the WWE for good. Ric Flair requested his release from the WWE and the WWE granted it immediately. As such, Flair has walked out of the WWE. This time, by all accounts, he's not planning to come back. The relationship between Ric Flair and the WWE has been strained for a long, long time, going back to the point at which Ric Flair was essentially relieved of his duties because of a, because of a guest appearance that he made. The entire pandemic era heavily featured Ric Flair, and this was something that really wasn't all that popular with a lot of people backstage. Certain groups within the WWE have in fact been actively trying to get Ric Flair off of TV and then out of the company for a while. The scripting for Flair when Orton punted him in the head was supposed to be a whole big goodbye, literally the end, the legend being killed, but Flair being Flair, he found a way to stick around. Now Flair's work of Orton was moderately well received, but it's the last well received moment thus far in Ric Flair's career. Of course, he could be adding more in the near future, so let's not write him off completely yet. His most recent storyline really wasn't well received at all, though I will admit that he, Charlotte and Lacey Evans all did the best that they could to get the story over. Whenever Ric Flair would appear on Raw Talk, for example, he would generate some excitement, but Ric Flair being trusted with a live microphone was happening more and more rarely. To be blunt, Nick Khan was never really a fan of Flair. And a lot of people in the WWE have been disappointed with Flair's continued use during the pandemic. He was on quite a lot of money, but it was a Legends contract, and they didn't want to release him, essentially unless he asked for it, because of the potential ripple effect that this could have on certain members of the roster. Now, while the Evans storyline prolonged his use, after the Orton storyline, a lot of people just didn't want Flair involved anymore. With touring due to return, there was no intention to take Flair on the road. So him asking for his release was basically just perfect timing. Put it this way, I'm not entirely sure he asked. This sounds a little more like a you're fired, no I quit situation to me, but that is just my opinion. When it comes to the grand fallout of what's going to happen next, a lot of people are asking questions about the other Flair in the company. Technically, this will have no impact on Charlotte Flair, but once again, the WWE will have to watch their grip weaken on one of their shining lights. The sparkling diamond, if you will. With a partner in AEW, the opposition could offer Ric Flair work purely to try and bribe her over. Now, I don't personally see it happening, but it is an option on the table. Charlotte, for her part, continues to make all the right noises to WWE management, but there's no denying that the fans have caused her to question her position more than once. As I've said before, Charlotte Flair will face Tessa Blanchard before their careers are up. So, Ric Flair is gone. The WWE clearly won't miss him, and they had no plans for him anyway. There were differing opinions backstage as to the value of Flair. Some never wanted him involved, and some were clearly advocating for him. When it comes to storylines and future content, not many fans seem to care all that much. Looking on Twitter, it's mostly people asking what's going to happen to Charlotte. Right now, nothing. We've spoken about the four horsewomen and how there's no chance that the WWE would willingly release them. The WWE don't believe that Charlotte will want to leave. They also believe that of Adam Cole. 